Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Bad advice that we are jumping in again and we are going on yet another run. I will just say uh, as we start this episode, ooh, we're doing Keeper to Mother. Intriguing. Um, I will just say as we start this episode, <coughs> one moment, um, that I have disabled a few small mods um, just because I was getting quite a lot of lag due to a few of the mods in particular ones that only added a few items but yeah i've, I've since changed that uh, so that should be sorted um we're not going to miss out on all too much to be honest so don't worry about that i've not taken away any of the bigger mods Th there is however one both of those decided to kill themselves on the fire so that's rather nice um there is however one slightly bigger mod that i've removed and i kind of it took me a while to decide if i wanted to do this or not but i'm glad i gave it a fair shot but I have removed the sewing machine mod. Okay, I was going to kill him with the barrel anyways, but there you go. Uh, I have removed the sewing machine mod because I, I do like it. I think it's interesting. But from what I've seen of it so far, it's so absurdly overpowered that it cannibalizes basically every run. Like, the moment that you get a familiar that works with the um, sewing machine... You go and upgrade it. Oh, hello, a companion cube. Gives you a companion cube familiar that can be pushed around. Companion cube dashes at enemies above and below to the side of it. Enemies hit are inflicted with confusion. I like the idea of that. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, it, uh, it, it kind of like, if we had a familiar that worked with it and we actually ended up using it, I feel like it just cannibalized the run. It just completely took over made us super overpowered um we saw it in a few different runs already and yeah it just it was very 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 strong um and like it was super easy to enable because it was so cheap it was 10 pair upgrade it didn't scale upwards on the second upgrade um the, the cost was always fixed and a lot of the upgrades to familiars made the familiars like basically run winning so I made the decision to disable that mod just because while this is a mega modded series and I don't mind us getting a bit overpowered, I don't want every single run to be cannibalized by the sewing machine uh, taking over the run. Now you might say, why not just not use the sewing machine on runs where you think it might be powerful? But I think that creates another issue of it just being kind of difficult to to realize when I should and shouldn't be using it. Um, and it's just gonna, it, it just creates too many issues. And I think it's just something that, at least for now, I'm gonna disable. I know that it's a long-standing mod, so it probably won't be changed. But if it does get changed for the better and things are a little less powerful, then I'll probably revisit the mod. But I don't know how you guys feel about that. But I just, personally, for my tastes, ooh, nice bit of luck upgrade there. Personally, for my tastes, I think it's just a little bit too powerful. Also, getting above positive luck here is rather nice. It's just a little bit too powerful. Um, and a little too common as well. The sewing machines aren't exactly rare. And familiars, of course, aren't exactly rare. So it's it's something that some of you might take issue with and might find a bit, it's a bit of a shame. And honestly, I do find it a little bit of a shame myself. But I think it should um, increase the quality of our runs overall. Um, it should hopefully make it so that the... Um, LSD, oh my god. Um, it should hopefully make it so that our runs are a little less insane. And we can actually properly feature some of the modded items rather than vanilla familiars and um, a, 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 a fair few modded familiars just taking over the show. Uh, also, another thing that I want to note, actually two pretty big things I want to note. One, um, got this LSD thing's amazing. Um, one is that I am on the um, latest patch of um, Ipecac now. I was re referring to in my past few episodes that there were some issues with Ipecac where um, one of the enemies was a bit bugged out and some of the cards were appearing a bit too often, things like that. That has since been sorted and I'm now on the most up-to-date version of the game so we shouldn't have those issues anymore. And on top of that, just today, I, this, this came a lot sooner than, than I was expecting, there was an in-game patch to Repentance itself that fixed a lot of remaining crashes and soft locks that existed. But also, that was a really good little push there. That guy like farted me into that. But also, on top of that, it fixed, or at least assumingly fixed, the both glowing hourglass... Uh, oh, that was a really bad bomb there. It fixed both the glowing hourglass issue and... 
it fixed the um, the, the custom rooms issues of um, continuing runs. So now we should be able to play with modded rooms, continue a run if the game crashes, and still be able to continue that run. So the uh, the issue that you saw in a previous episode where I had to recreate the run after it crashed and we lost the progress, that should no longer be anywhere near as much of an issue. Now there is still a chance there'll be some runs that crash that we can't continue, but for the most part that shouldn't end up being the case anymore, which is awesome. I'm very, very excited for that. Okay, we've got enough to buy a Devil Deal now. I'm pretty happy. Let's just continue forward. I could maybe go to Angel Deals, but I'm thinking I'm happy with what I got. And also, I'm just loving the uh, the modded stuff that we got going on right now. I will check in here because I do have a few bombs. I might be able to get some more out of this. Ooh, I'll at least bomb you. Go two pennies. You know what? I'll bomb you as well. I kind of want to play the crane game, but I doubt it's going to be as lucrative as a potential Devil Deal. Also, we got two of the same room with that bomb beggar in it. I'm guessing that's a burning basement specific room, considering how that guy looks, the visuals of him. Oh, we got something here. Transforms all enemies in the room into champions if possible. Like, I don't think that's that good for us, I'll be honest. But that's an interesting one. I'm going to leave these pennies here and go into my cash room here. Um, That's a... Oh, I was going to say that's a bit of a troll, but it's actually not. Do you know what? I'll, I'll grab that. Obviously, not the greatest grab of all time. Um, oh, does the does the lucky saucer? Wait, what? We lost our luck upgrade from the saucer. I'm not quite sure why. We took damage and we lost our luck upgrade. Is that a thing? Is that a thing I'm not aware of? Anyways, let's go fight our boss. One minute. Yeah, is that a thing I'm not not currently aware of? <laughs> is that on purpose? I don't know. That, that doesn't seem like it should be happening. Anyways, companion QP is doing a good job. Herming's going to be really nice here. We do not have a penny available to us, so let's be careful about that. And unfortunately, we got moldy bread. So let's take a look in here. I don't know if Horror Babylon works as this guy. I need to go and find that out. One second. Unfortunately, it doesn't have an effect, so we'll just take the Guppy's Eye. Uh, of course, Guppy's Eye isn't the best, but one interesting little buff that it received um, in the one of the latest Repentance patches, it now actually does work with their uh, keepers. So the shopkeepers, you can see if they're actually going to drop a coin or items or whatever, which is really, really useful. Really, really useful indeed. Right, let's keep pushing forward. We've not been getting super lucky with our... Um, with that active so far, we've been getting quite unlucky, to be fair. I never really... Is it worth us pushing around the cube? I, I don't... I'm going to say maybe. It, do, it, it seems to do a pretty decent amount of contact damage, so... And, of course, the stunning's really nice. But, yeah, it seems to do enough to be worthwhile. Right, good, good. Oh, hello. Hello, little cyst fly. How are you? Ooh, there you go, pet rock fly. We got we got two different things that can like block damage for us. I think the content companion cube absorbs shots. I'm not sure, but pet rock fly is a very slow moving fly that does heavy contact damage and blocks projectiles. He's not going to be super useful. Ooh, these are interesting enemies. He's not going to be super useful, but it'll be decent. Like let's just I was going to say let's just watch him kill that, and then I killed it by accident. Let's um watch him kill something. Ooh, these guys have a bit of a respray on them, which is interesting. Nice, nice. I should, probably should be leaving a few coins about in case I don't get a, a coin drop. Oh, I just, I've got to say, I absolutely love and adore some of the resprites from the resprite mods I'm using. Okay, so maybe it doesn't do quite as much damage as I thought. <laughs> I thought it would, like, insta-kill that boil. Definitely didn't. Um, oh, well. That's fine. Okay, let's leave that there. And drop that there. I know that we're unlikely to get anything great from that now that we've already got small rock but it's worth checking them nonetheless. Companion Cube's doing a good job. That's the thing as well, when enemies accidentally, like, run into the Companion Cube over and over again, that creates some serious issues for them because they take the contact damage multiple times rather than just the once. Um, I'm going to risk this again. I know that it's, this is risky, but we, we got the same thing again. Okay. Um, make shops free. Entering a shop triggers a random bad event. Intriguing. 
Intriguing. Makes shops free, triggers a random bad event. I wonder. Okay, we got our luck back. I don't know why we keep losing the luck periodically. Maybe there's just some mechanic with taking damage, you lose it for a few rooms or something. If we keep losing it, then gaining it. So I'm, I'm not exactly sure what, what's causing that. Um, That chest did not at all contain what Guppy's eyes said it was going to contain. Not sure what's causing that issue. Uh, Maybe there's a mod that edits chest contents and Guppy's eye doesn't update with it. That could be interesting. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. It's, it's really hard to tell, to be honest. Careful of this dude. He's doing his thing. Poker chip in there. We're going to end up finding poker chip later anyways, but still. So we're going to have to enter the shop here because it's going to be free. I do not know what it means by random bad event. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not a random bad event. That's just teleporting me to the next floor. It didn't even let me see the shop. Shops aren't really free if you can't enter the shop. Okay. Um, we did. We have used Isaac Tower before. Robo Baby X is actually pretty good, so I'll take you. Although he doesn't have a charge bar of his own, which that would be that would be a nice quality of life increase for that dude. If whoever makes Robo Baby X could add a add a charge bar to him, that'd be rather nice. Cause it's a little bit he does he does blink when he's available, so it's not terribly hard to see when it's coming, but it is a little bit hard. As you can see, we're already having a run that's pretty dominated by familiars. It would be kind of insane if we also had the sewing machine was upgrading all these familiars too. We'd just be far too powerful. You do get a lot of familiars. Um, on most runs here. Yeah, I, I really wasn't expecting random bad event to be like, oh, hey, you just can't see the shop and you're on the next floor now. I thought it was going to be something like you take one heart of damage or it spawns a few enemies or it spawns a keeper or greed or something. I, I really was not expecting it to just be like, well, fuck you. <laughs> but honestly, the cash rooms have been so good to us recently, we got to try it. Good, good. Maybe you have to be on full health to, to gain the... Um... Well, this, this went poorly. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... Um... That was a little spicy. That was a lot more... What the hell? Ex excuse me? Are you okay? <laughs> Foiled death card. Interesting. We'll grab that. Do you know what? We'll use it here too. We did get a black art from one of them, but obviously we don't actually get black arts. Yeah, okay, so I don't know if it's a mod that's doing it, but Guppy's Eye straight up just doesn't work anymore on chests. It just doesn't tell you what you're actually going to get. So that's a little bit of a shame. We're never going to actually know what we're getting from one of those. Okay, you're... No, you, you ducked under it. Little goober. Right. At least we can have a look at our library here. No, um... No luck with the bookworm transformation here, but... There you go. And we didn't even get mapping, because we've got Curse of the Blind. Oh, we got a little spew for the floor, though. I didn't, I didn't notice that. A little spew for the floor could be good. My tech baby, he, he doesn't seem to be able to shoot at an angle, so that makes him a little bit hard to use. But that makes sense, to be honest. God damn, the rock fly is so unbelievably slow. It might be worth giving him a bit of a speed buff, just to make him slightly more useful. Because for a quality 3 item as well, that's what it was uh, saying it was. I would not rate this quality 3 right now. I'd say it's like quality 1. So maybe if you want it to be quality 3, give it a little bit of a speed buff. Nice, nice. It might be worth playing this dude. Considering shops are free, do you know what? It probably is worth playing this dude. Just keep spamming my active. There you go. 
Get ourselves a battery friend. God damn, we have a big familiar chain already. God, I really, really wish I had kept my, um, I'd have kept my thingy for this floor. Can't remember the name of it now. Um, my death card. My foiled death card. Would have been so nice on this floor. Killed everything. By the way, I think it is Rooms Galore that changes this, which is, of course, a rather interesting tie-in. But um, changing the enemies to be, um, like, coloured for flooded caves is such a good idea. I actually think the developer um, of Rooms Galore, which I believe is Fork Guy, he's uh, messaged in one of my um, comment sections before. If you're watching this, I really think it'd be a good idea to separate that into its own mod and release it separately. Because I think that's a really huge quality of life and visual change that people will be very, very up for. The... People that either don't want to use or don't like using room mods would very much appreciate. Um, and the fact as well, a lot of people won't have downloaded Rooms Galore yet because it um, because of the bug that stopped you being able to... Yeah, there you go. There's a keeper fight. But still, no free shop because we're not allowed. Um, this item's been useless so far. <laughs> Two bad events and absolutely no items to show for it. Uh, but yeah, like, a lot of people probably won't be using, um, won't be using room mods yet, because for a long time they were bugged and caused crashes, so a lot of people stayed away from them. So I think, um, releasing that as its own separate mod would be a really good idea. It's a, it's a huge quality of life thing that I think a lot of people would really appreciate. I think that mod would do exceedingly well. Whoa, my, my cube did a ton of damage to this dude. God. My cube wrecked this fella. Unfortunately, we got food again. Um, okay, this is great. Basically, on death, we lose all, our, all of our familiars, but we get revived. Minus... I'm gonna try this out. It gave us, uh... It's still pretty bad. <laughs> this is an item that I always had a strong hatred for from Ipecac uh, prior to Repentance. Um, and the developers knew that. <laughs> the developers knew that. It doesn't seem to be much better than it used to be. Although the snap changes seem to be a little bit less egregious. We got a damage down. Um, and we got a fire rate up. And because Keeper's health can't change, that'll be static. But honestly, a fire rate up is pretty nice, so I'm, I'm not I'm not sad about that at all. The damage down's a little bit of a bummer, but I think the fire rate up more than makes up for it. Okay, we've got a little Eddie here. Little Eddies can be a bit of a pain. But how small they are, they have a lot of HP, so you've got to kind of internalize that fact. Also, these dudes are real hard to kill too, but that one is a champion, so that's fair. Come on, my little leech. But yeah, it's cool to have all these mods working in tandem. Like, we have, um... Okay, so we actually got a free shop this time. But we gained every curse. Tears up as well. Okay, I'll, I'll accept it. I don't think the grater is something we can we can use right. I think it takes away a heart container. Removes one red heart container and gives you 0.5 damage up. Yeah, I don't think we can feasibly take that. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see all these mods working in tandem. We have an item from the Golden Collection. We have an item from Ipecac. We have uh, an item from Repentance Plus. It's just so cool to see all these working in tandem to create a whole new experience. And then, of course, on top of that, we have Rooms Galore constantly giving us amazing rooms. I will say as well um, to the developer of Rooms Galore, I'm probably going to speak to them on Discord if I can. There are quite a few rooms that don't work as intended, especially the puzzle trap rooms that use poison, uh, the, 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 the like poison bomb grimace dudes. i got to be careful here. Um, those ones seem to... Oh god, I've been hit multiple times, I'm dead. Okay, so we did revive. Oh god, we died. I thought it revived me with full HP. It most certainly did not. We'll give it. We'll give this one another run back. We'll give this one another run back. Um, nah, I'll continue as keeper. I'll continue as keeper. One moment. Right, that was a bit of a shame to die there. I kind of didn't really internalize how dangerous Brownie would be, and then on top of that, I um, I, I kind of messed myself up by uh, 
accidentally sort of not internalizing the fact that also I wouldn't be revived at full HP. Bit of a whoopsie on my behalf there. Um, I I don't know if having two number twos actually does anything for us here. I'll I'll admit, but there you go. We have two of them now. By the way, I love that mirrored um, the 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 idea of the the whole mirrored uh, consumables and collectibles and pickups. I think it's such a good idea. It, it it adds some definite interesting things to the gameplay. And if I remember correctly, if we go over to the F9 menu here and go to the sewage collection. Um, you can you can turn them on from spawning naturally. It'd be nice if the config menu had the ability to change how common they were. So I think as a base chance, they have a very, very, very low chance of showing up. Um, I, I tried to get the, the money out of that dude, but it didn't really work. Uh, they have a very, very low chance of showing up. I think it's like 0.4% chance of, being re of replacing a normal spawn. But then if you destroy the mirror, it increases that by a further 2%, if I remember correctly. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn. Also, to whoever made those enemies, thank you. Thank you so much for making sure there can never be more black balls on the screen than there are enemies that fire them. I think it's two max at the most point from what I've seen, which is just great. We'll take this pill. It's a tears up. That's so good. But it's kind of weird that we got a reflected penny and then a reflected uh, number two straight after. Of course, number two being reflected means virtually nothing because... Having two versions of number two does nothing really, but a lot of items do stack on top of each other. Of course, stat upgrades are going to stack, um, and there's a few others that do as well. Uh, so it might be worth us going and destroying the mirror to try and get a few more reflecteds, especially as a keeper like this where health is so easy to replenish. I think I'll take that and let's go down to the um, to the downpour, and we'll basically what we're going to do is we're going to bomb the mirror. And I don't know if it'll give us any indication, but it definitely does increase your chance of finding those um, reflected things. So, also, just just as a as a as a general note, there's a lot of number two haters out there. You guys need to you guys need to just realize that number two is a fantastic item. It's literally infinite bombs for the entirety of your run. And people are like, oh, but like you could. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, I want to go into my cash room. Um, people are like, oh, but like, you could, um, you could accidentally bomb yourself. It's like, yeah, but just like, all you gotta do is realize that it fires a bomb after firing for like two or three seconds. And if you keep holding fire, even between rooms, it can't drop another bomb. It literally can't, unless you let go of fire and start firing again. So you literally could go through the entire floor, having only dropped one bomb during combat and then go back through the floor later to um, to, to bomb anything that needs bombing. We'll take the swarm here. Kind of fitting for number two, to be honest. And I mean, just in general, it's a very, very, very useful thing in combat, I think. I'm going to say that looked secret roomy to me. I'm going to say, in combat, it's so good because it, it concusses and hurts every enemy on screen, which is insanely useful. And you can charge it up prior to entering the room, which is really nice. So you can, like, half charge, then come in a room and plant a bomb basically the moment you get in. And it has an audio cue to let you know when you planted a bomb. I realize for some people, that's not gr that's not good because they play without... Uh, also, 9 volt here is rather nice. They play without sound, so I know for some people that's not the best, but for most people, it's going to be pretty good. Look how strong that was. And then for some of the bosses on this floor, it's so good. Rainmaker's a good example. And as well, you can do what I just did there. If you're, if you're sort of skillful enough with knowing when the bomb's going to plant, it's not always super easy. And I'm not saying that I'm not ever going to be hit by the bomb. I'm sure I'm going to hurt myself with it at some point. But you can do that, what I just did there. Fire it, then walk back and like launch it directly into an enemy. We get Binky here. I didn't consider the fact that I'd be having a devil deal here. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to afford it anyways. That's fine. I'm going to say, I shouldn't have really bought a uh, 9 volt before checking the devil deal, to be honest. But I was never going to be able to afford that anyway, so I don't mind. Uh, we can try and check for second secret room here. It's most likely going to be down from this next room here. Yeah, fire rate is in a great spot right now. Oh, this is one of my rooms. Hello. Um, of course, actually a room that you don't really care about as the keeper. But the idea is, 
you can get those throwable bombs below the red bombs um, and use it to destroy all these fires and buckets to try and get something. Like that. I tried to make some semi-interesting rooms here, but it is difficult to make interesting rooms. But there you go. Didn't get anything from it, but there you go. It's, it's, it's a second secret room that has the chance, potential, to be very good. But it's not always going to be so. Which I like. I like the idea of having uh, having some rooms that are... Uh, their, their usefulness is a bit iffy. You never know if they're going to be super good or kind of meh. Okay, so remember to destroy the mirror on this floor. We have no other reason. That is one thing that I was always very confused about um, when uh, when Repentance released. This this the downpour and the 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 path to the key piece is so amazingly crafted. the The idea of the mirror realm is just incredibly creative and a really good job. I think it was Kilburn's idea, and he implemented it too. And it's just it is a fantastic idea completely. But I was always a little shocked to see that there was absolutely no consequence to bombing the mirror, apart from the fact that you could no longer get the key piece. I thought it, it should have given you like a look down, or it should have caused some other enemies to be start spawning, caused champions to be more common, I don't know. Just something that's like related to breaking a mirror bad luck wise. I kind of thought that'd be an interesting idea and it was never something. I can kind of understand why though, because like, I guess most people's first instinct was to bomb it and they, it, they didn't want to make it too punishing. But at the same time, it would have it would have helped a lot of people. I know there's a lot of people out there that play uh, games without ever looking at things online. This is a very stacked shop. Holy hell. Um, there's quite a lot of people out there that, that don't look at stuff online at all um, and would have bombed the mirror and gone, oh, well, nothing happened. What the hell? Uh, if it had something, like, bad happen, like, gave you a look down or enemies spawn, it'd be clear that that isn't the right solution and something different needs to be done. Or at least to me it would be. Um, so that would be a good indicator of, hey, don't do that. But here we're gonna bomb the mirror. And that is gonna increase our chance of reflected, um, reflected pickups and consumables spawning. That includes, it includes basically anything that can spawn. Cards, money, hearts, items, literally anything that can spawn um, can be reflected. Even shop items can be reflected. Um, and those reflected items can be good or bad. We're going to take a tier. So we're, we're going pretty basic bitch on this run here, but we are getting very good stats from it, so I don't mind. Um, do I want to buy Chaos? I think yes, I do. Oh, wait, doesn't Chaos drop stuff? That it does. Cyanide. Um, I lost a heart there. Is this the secret room here? That it is. Give us a penny. God damn it. There's a reflected penny. So if we pick that up, it'll spawn two. There you go. And that doesn't even lose our Duel of the Devil chance either, which is very nice. Okay, so we'll use this. The Empress is going to be really nice for us here, but the bombs are going to be even nicer. There you go. And we got a Duel of the Devil item here. Uh, double tap uh, double tap shooting button to launch a ghost familiar direction. It will latch on to an enemy. Interesting. So, okay. That's pretty cool. How do we know when it's recharged? It's not instant. Okay, there you go. Ah, it's got a little, like, its own unique icon. That's cool. I like that. That's awesome. I can definitely get behind that. Okay. So, maybe it's not going to be super useful on weak enemies, but champions or bosses. I can imagine it being very good. It seems seems that you're likely only going to ever get to use it once per room. Also, what is going on with, uh, with our Keeper's face right now? But enemies like that, there you go. That, that's that's a really cool item, that. I believe that's a deal with the Devil Pool item as well. I swear I've seen it in the Devil Pool before. But I like it. And I think that's from Repentance Plus, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, we got a dime there. Hell yes. I'm going to be interested to see how many reflected items we end up getting throughout the course of this run. We'll probably end up getting quite a few reflected pennies. But I don't know how many reflected items we're likely to see. Like I said, it is only, I think, like a 2.5% chance once you have... Um, 
once you have the mirror broken, it's really not that high. It doesn't increase it by a large margin, which makes sense because you wouldn't want like 50% of everything to be reflected because you'd be taking damage on everything you picked up, which would be a nightmare. So I can understand that at least. Got an Emperor card there. We can just pop the lovers to get some flies here. Just trying to blow up a few of these here. Oh, we did get an item. We got the mini mush. Thank you. A speed upgrade is actually really nice for us right now. We kind of needed it. Keep it a start with slightly lower speed. What have we got here? So rune bag and then the eternal seal. Plus one faith. By the way, I believe faith and evil is a system from um, Ipecac that is currently not implemented, but it will be re-implemented shortly. It's essentially a system where if you have faith, you get eternal hearts and um, eternal chests more often. If you have evil, you get black hearts and red chests more often, that sort of thing. It's a pretty cool system, to be honest. Um, chance for soul, gold, and eternal heart to drop when enemies die. That sounds very, very good. Of course... On this character, it's not as good, but we're still going to be getting flies randomly when enemies die, which is still useful. Whoa. Turns the room gold, freezes or strengthens enemies. The golden god. 99 coins. Gasoline. We'll take gasoline. Uh, I'm going to destroy my donation machine here because we need the money. For a potential deal with the devil. Okay, so gasoline's pretty nice here. When we kill enemies, they're going to have a chance to... Well, not even a chance. They're always going to drop fire. Also, it seems like gasoline was updated to leave a little pool of oil beneath them as well. Which is a rather nice visual change, I have to say. It never used to do that. Um, and it looks really nice. It, it makes a little more sense. But yeah, essentially, it just means that rooms that are full of enemies... Cre it creates hazards everywhere. Little dumpy, come back to me, fella. <laughs> These enemies. I love and hate them. I love to hate them. They, um... <laughs> they get around. But enemies that have multi-stages, like these spiders, the big spiders, they're gonna devolve and then instantly place a fire and kill the enemies that it devolves into, which is real nice. Very useful for us. Um, I think we'll crack this. Mum's lipstick, unfortunately not the best, but there you go. Bit of a range upgrade. God damn, the swarm is getting huge. Okay, so we'll create a few fires around. Any bosses like this that spawn stuff are going to have a real hard time because there'll be fires everywhere. Oh, we got car battery. What a good drop from Chaos. That's awesome. Um... Having our wooden nickel plus car battery should mean that we generate coins quite a lot more often, which is awesome. We now have a 100% deal with the devil chance as well. Remember, as long as you keep in mind that you have number two, it's very hard for it to screw you over. I will admit in some smaller rooms, it's definitely more likely that it can screw you, but generally it's not too bad. Oh, did we get to accidentally find a secret room there? What? Um. What? Did I accidentally bomb a door mimic? Someone needs to replay that back and see what, what just happened there. I think I accidentally killed a door mimic. And I got sharp plug for it. Not exactly the best, but it was free, so I cannot complain. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure I just accidentally killed a door mimic. Also, another thing in the uh, patch, they did make it so that the door mimics are a little less common. Uh, which is nice. They were a little too common before. What up, host boys? Got him. This is probably our secret room here. It looks very secret roomy. Bomb bag? Okay, chaos is, chaos is kind of screwing with me a little bit here. Not found any of our other special rooms yet, somehow. We got good money, though, so we probably want to go to our shop first. I don't know what champion this is. Ah! Oh, this is, um... So, there used to be a champion within, um... Ipecac that I used to call the Shadow Demons, which basically was a champion where the, the sprite was completely black, and the enemy would randomly create duplicates of itself with one HP. 
Um, and it, it seems as though... It, they did say in the patch notes that they reworked how that champion works. And that seems to be the new version of said champion. You could just tell with some walls when it's the secret room. Hey, this is another one of my... Um, another one of my ones. So this, uh, of course, as you can probably tell, is a white fire that gives you flight. So we don't want to use that yet. We probably want to kill the boss before we even get anywhere near that. But I would like that tears up. Uh, pill. Okay, yeah, so that was a time in which it did screw me. Uh, but that was my own fault. I, I, for some reason, decided to use... Hey, there's a reflected key. I, for some reason, decided to use... Um, my wooden nickel just in the worst position possible. Look at those fires doing a great job for us here. I think gasoline's a devil deal item as well, so we've actually gotten pretty lucky with getting a few devil deal items in there from Chaos so far. We've got a reflected chest here. So one thing that's a bit weird is sometimes you can't touch the reflected things. It kind of, as it spawns, I suppose that's actually probably... Oh, why, why did I get hit there? That's probably better, I suppose, when it's spawning on you and automatically hitting you. It's probably like a one second period in which you can't touch it specifically for that reason. So actually, I completely retract my complaint. <laughs> That's actually a very smart idea. It's slightly odd to, uh, to not be able to open the chest for a second. It feels a bit weird, but on retrospect, it actually makes a hell of a lot of sense. But the Bedside Queen... What does the Bedside Queen do exactly? Um, spawns once 12 random keys. There's a small chance to spawn a charged key. We got three. Okay. I mean, three is better than nothing. I'll accept it. I will take that on board. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Just don't get hit and we'll be fine. Good, good. Still not found our item room yet. Enemies as well like that that are really hard to hit. Like, you have to hit them from a certain angle. But bombs are really good for that too. I just think the stunning effect more than anything is super nice. Keep forgetting we've got bomb bag as well. How have we managed to find everything but the shop and item room so far? We're getting kind of unlucky with that at the minute. I should throw that bomb so far by accident. Good, good. Yeah, I love doing that where you can accidentally sort of like shoot the bomb really far away from you. We got another tears up here. Beautiful. We need that. And here we've got ourselves. Hey, that's a decent item. Uh, Mum's earring. We get a damage up proportional to the amount of enemies in a room. Of course, on many rooms, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever, really, like bosses. But in a lot of rooms, it's going to be really good. Also, the swarm is keeping me so safe right now. I believe it summons one fly for every... Do you know what? I will I will come back to that. I'm very interested in both of those items, but I really think with a 100% chance for Devil or Angel deal, we should find out what we're in for first. And I'll come back to you, White Fire. Just got to remember as well, when you use a White Fire, you can leave the floor um, as the Lost, as you normally would, but in doing that, you uh, you have to complete one room on the next floor as um, the ghost version, as the, as the lost. So you've got to kind of internalize that and realize that could be a problem if you're not careful. Did not mean to pick up that coin, as you can probably imagine. Did not mean to walk that way, as you can also probably imagine. Don't worry, we've got the ability to generate a few more coins while we're here. We will do just that. Here you go. And we get an Angel Deal and Berserk as well. Ooh, baby. Baby, you. You got what I need. Right, what we got here? Nightlight. Because, because this episode could run really long if I don't die, I'm going to take a risk and take Berserk. I know that this is a really dumb risk that I definitely shouldn't be taking, but I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, we want to go this way, right? So we're going to go in here, over here, we're going to use our white fire here, grab this, tears up. here's that tears up. But yeah, there's no way on this floor of us returning from the lost version of ourselves 
Um, because it's not like the mirror world. Um, so instead, we do this. We, have, we actually got up to five fire right here, which is pretty awesome. We should be doing a lot of damage now. But yeah, I'm thinking just with our, um, uh, our swarm and things like that, we should be relatively safe to take Berserk. It's definitely a significant risk, but I think, honestly, at this point, the episode's running long already, and we're only just on Dank Nips 2 because of the first run dying, then I think it's completely fine. That's a Reflected. We do not want the Reflected there. That would have been tragic. We've also got a Bob's Rotten Head in here as well. So now we can go boom. Oh! I can't believe I just did that. I just, for some reason, got it into my thick skull that I had flight. I definitely don't have flight. Why did I do that? We definitely got some good old mega chest here, though. With Chaos, this could be good. Or we could just get all of this money. Uh, we definitely want to keep some of this money around, so let's get up to 30 cent. Take the, uh, the keys and such. And then just leave the rest of it around for healing, just in case. Careful of these dudes exploding into shots. That always catches me off guard. That's another reflected one. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think reflected um, reflected stuff is probably one of the best risk reward things I've seen added in a mod thus far. As as in terms of like as a base feature that just gets added to the game, uh, rather than it being like a specific item that activates that effect. It's actually just an, a baked-in effect to the game. Because it's not too intrusive, a, a low percent chance for it to happen to base projectiles. And it gives a reason to go to the downpour and bomb the... Um... Nine lives is interesting. Gives a reason to go to the downpour and bomb the mirror. And it adds a lot of risk-reward to both items and consumables. I think it's a perfectly balanced risk-reward idea. Uh, shot speed, tears eyes up, tears now leave, slowing honey creep. The honey slows you down too. I don't think we can take that. It's slowing us down, especially with our melee, se semi-melee build that we got going on right now would be a pretty bad idea, I think. Yeah, being able to double tap to get the damage off with that is really nice. We have not seen our item room yet, so let's not bother with that so far. Good. So much money. <laughs> it's there just in case. When we leave the floor, we'll grab it all. You guys are stunned. Put your plums in the mix. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn. Interesting room, definitely. I, I am interested as well that um, Room Scalore actually did some nice stuff in inter interjecting the, um, the mechanics of some of the alt floor rooms such as the kill switch buttons into the um into the regular path and that's a great idea taking some underutilized things or less utilized things and giving them a, mo a sort of stronger sense of purpose is always good um go pick up a penny real quick rooms galore is is a fantastic fantastic mod i, I i've said it quite a lot and and i like especially now i know that the developer may be watching i i, I especially want to make sure he knows rooms galore is a fantastic mod there's only one thing that i that i don't like about rooms galore um and it's something that i've edited myself just because it's easily edited is the fact that the secret rooms are insanely powerful and very very common other than that um I think it's a very well-rounded mod that adds some insanely cool stuff. And I think for a lot of people, having the more rewarding secret rooms is a good idea. Just obviously, I've got a particular hang-up about it. Because at almost the exact same time that Rooms Galore released, my rare secret rooms mods released. And if you have both of them on at the same time, which of course I do, um, the rare secret rooms get quite heavily overshadowed. Um... I don't know what this is. I'll put a few coins in here, see if we can get it. I'll go down to 25. Ah, bugger. Um, yeah, it, it, it quite heavily overshadows. Oh, this is a reflected um, trinket. And it gave us a golden one too. Nice, I'll take that. 
uh, yeah, it's uh, it kind of heavily overshadows my mod just because it when they're working in tandem together, you will still find my rare secret rooms, but you're going to be finding the rooms galore secret rooms far more often. And the room galore secret rooms are just as, if not more powerful than my rare ones, which makes them feel a little underwhelming to find when combined with rooms galore. So for my personal taste, I've removed the uh, secret rooms from my version of the mod, which I know some people might dislike, but for me, it's just my personal taste and it, it, it helps my mod to stand out a little more, which is something that I'd like. I didn't pick up all the coins, I'm stupid. Okay, we did get hit there. We did get an angel deal, though. Don't know why I activated that again, I'll be honest. Um, I'll just take the Polaroid for now. Lucky's horns, hell yeah. I'm going to bomb some of these to try and get some health back. Really, not a single penny from any of these? Come on now. One penny? Not a single penny. Great. Okay. Going down to the next floor with not not the greatest HP now. I think the uh, the womb and some of the alt floors are where rooms room galore. I mean, actually, I'd, I'd say probably from like from like the depths up to uh, like sorry from the caves up to like the womb are where you're gonna notice the biggest sort of impact from rooms galore because it takes a lot of enemies that don't normally appear on this floor that should and adds them, as well as just adding a little bit more room variety, a few more challenge rooms, a few more puzzle rooms, a few more rooms that have like beggars and things like that, rooms like this, I don't know if that's particularly from Rooms Galore, but similar to that sort of thing, um, and yeah, it really, it really makes the floors feel a bit better, like Necro, uh, Necropolis, um, Necropolis is it called? Necropolis is probably the biggest example, the biggest shining example of, um, interjecting, interjecting, sorry, um, a like, bunch of enemies into the floor that wouldn't normally appear on that floor, but probably should. There's a lot of enemies from the mines that very much feel heavily inspired by Necro, and, um, of course, don't show up there at, at any point, which I completely understand from the developer's side of uh, things and, and creating rooms, because it is, um... It is very time-consuming to create rooms, and such, just like, like these. These little fly dudes no, don't normally appear here, but now they do. It's rather nice. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's just kind of like... They don't appear there, and it takes a long time to create rooms that, that do, so Rooms Galore takes that and adds, like, over a thousand rooms, I think it is. I don't, I don't know exactly how many it is. It's, it's a lot um, that, that do exactly that. Rooms such as this right here. This is a perfect example of a Rooms Galore room. And even just adding small little things like that into the rooms that use a feature of, like, things happening on Room Clear that the game just doesn't really utilize that often. Um within other floors that aren't repentance based. Even in the repentance floors, it doesn't use them all that much, so just really nice to see. And as well, it adds a ton, a ton of new boss rooms, which is fantastic, because there is a very, he very heavy lack of boss rooms. Now, I will say some of them are very difficult. <laughs> oh god, our, our angel deals have been so sucky. Ooh. I think we got a game crash here. Now, this is the ultimate test. This is the ultimate test. We got a game crash. So, I will be right back. Right, we are back. Let's see. Does it let us continue our run? Oh, joyous day of days it does. Now, I will say... What the hell? Um, this isn't a secret room. Game, are you okay? Why do I have red rooms on my map? What the hell, what the hell's going on right now? <laughs> um, so it, it let us continue the run. It seems to have some, um, issues, let's say. I don't know why, but it's showing up rooms as red rooms. I, what, what? <laughs> Something has gone seriously wrong here. It's showing, this might be a, an issue with minimap API rather than the game itself, but it's showing red rooms as normal rooms and normal rooms as red rooms. 
This room isn't even on the map, apparently. Oh god, I might die here. Please don't die, that'd be very sad. And now we're in the double room. What the? Yeah, the, the, the map is very confused as to what's going on right now. Very, very confused. <laughs> this is bizarre. It really has absolutely no idea where I am or what's going on. Uh, this is certainly a bug. Um, but we was able to continue the run, which previously just wouldn't have been possible, so that's great. I'm not going to go into the angel deal this time, because that's what seemed to crash the game, and the item in there was completely worthless. Give me, give me, give me some coins to believe in. Just horrible rooms there. Okay. Why with the skull, X boy? Okay. Get this guy going. But yeah, rooms like this with the death's heads in them. As I was saying before, a really big bonus to the game. Oh god, I've taken damage that I shouldn't have taken. Okay. So this time, let's just not go in that floor. Away we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the map there. Hopefully it isn't a persisting issue. Doesn't seem to be good. Ooh, hello. New machine. I think we're going to blow up these first and get some coins back, hopefully. There you go. Um, And then we, can, we can't play you because we don't have any cards, but we'll play this thing and see what we get. It gave us... Uh, a little egg thing on our, on our uh, item tracker. I'm guessing this is giving you familiars for the floor. And this one gave us the Mother's Tail thing. Yeah, I think they only last one floor. Um, it didn't seem to cost all that much. We also got that Mother's Tail, Spine Tail thing, whatever you want to call it, that was very strong before. Okay, yeah, this seems this seems like it's understood what's going on. Oh, oh, I can't believe I got hit by it. I just got hit by the, um, <laughs> the bomb that I dropped. I didn't hear the audio cue for it. I'm stupid. Like I said, I still get hit by it myself. It's just not as big of an issue as people make it out to be. These guys are a pain in the ass. Always leave money on the floor at this time. Got some bladders here and this dude that is just, what the fuck, he's zooming. That's the fastest boy in the west right there. We are doing really good with Berserk here as well. The fact that you can swing shots away makes it very valuable here. Okay, we lost it at the worst time there, sadly. But it pro it provided a valiant effort for us. It was good. But yeah, so we have learned that if your game crashes, it, it's going to restart the floor, most likely. Which is fine. And it is probably going to break your minimap for the floor and think that red rooms are all sorts of weird stuff. But that's 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 also kind of fine. Right. Let's get these guys deaded. Boom, bow. Oh, I did take damage just towards the end of that fight there. Okay, angel deal again. What you got for us? Eh, not great, but at least it's something. Um, let's have a look. While held, every enemy has a chance to drop Scarlet Chest. Ooh. I think... I, I, I think I test... Like, I had this before on a test run. It's a new type of chest that, um... It hurts you to open. But they can give health items or, like, hearts and stuff themselves. So they're actually pretty useful. And they're not super uncommon. They, they drop reasonably often. Mother spine tail, can you not push my bombs away, please? I'm just creating some coins there just so we've got some health into for later when we need it. There it, there's one. Look, if we open that up now. Uh, it requires red health to open. 
That's fair. That's fair. By the way, uh, Ipecac devs, if you're watching, I might mention this in the Discord, so this might not be relevant by the time you see this episode. As I've said before, I do have backlogs of uh, episodes, so it's not always going to be relevant when I make comments. But the enemy that we saw in here, the little, like, flying mulligan dude, his sprite is one of the better ones in Ipecac. It's very, very good. But the enemies that he spews out have, <laughs> honestly, some of the least good sprites. I wouldn't say they're bad, but I think from what I remember of Ipecac, um by the way, this is me being hypercritical, but I think it's I think it's a fair point to make and it's I wanna make sure devs know when stuff could do with some tweaking or editing or fixing or whatever. But um the they are sprites that have been in the game since uh, the start of um Repentance. Sorry, uh this is the start of uh Ipecac, like even when it was on um Afterbirth. And I feel like they just haven't, they've, they've never really been updated. And I think that they just, considering how good the mulligan, the flying mulligan sprite is, they could do with a little bit of an update just to make them fit the uh, the sprite of the flying mulligan a little better. Just because they, they, they look more like recolors than actual like sprites. And I know that it, se it seems really picky of me to say that and hypercritical of me to say that. And to be honest, it probably is. Uh, I probably shouldn't be complaining. Uh, whoa, but. We are getting a lot of flies from somewhere. What the hell? Where did all these come from? Um, I don't know what happened there, but I, I like it. Um, but yeah, it, it, it would be it would be nice uh, out of like all of the sprites I've seen in Ipecac so far for those guys, especially to be updated. Everyone else, there's some like the sprites in there are really good. It, it, it basically all I'm saying is it looks like everything got a nice coat of paint and a few resprites and polish, and everything's looking tip top apart from those that could still do with a little bit of a resprite. Everything else is looking very good. There's a mod that makes uh, that makes Isaac be a unique fight for every character. I'm kind of tempted to, to get that mod. Try that one out. Get you on there. Hello, demon friend. How are you? Okay, get our items here, see what we get. Oh ho ho, oh ho ho. We got some great stuff here. We got a one-up, awesome. We got an intruder, awesome. We got the D-pad, gives all your tiers different effects depending on the direction you are shooting and moving. So, bouncy, boomerang, mysterious liquid, fire. Honestly, bouncy all the way for me. And tier game, random tier effect that cycles when an enemy dies. Real good. What the hell is giving us all these flies and spiders? It's kind of crazy. Is it that um, one that gives that's supposed to give us half soul hearts when enemies die? Is that kind of bugging out and giving us too many? Because it seems to be giving us an absurd amount right now. Tier game is one of my favorite items from Ipecac. It's so good. It might just be the fact that it's um, giving us the... What's it called effect? Um, what item is it? I can't remember the name of the item now. Oh god, I almost died there. Can't remember the name of the item now. Um, Parasitoid Tears. We could seriously use some pennies roundabout now. At least we have a... Oh god, I thought I could get that penny in time. Good. Don't, don't... I almost picked up the reflected bomb there. That would have been bad. Now we've got Cricket's Head Effect. There's some really, really weird issues with um, with the nightlight ever since I started using modded. You can see that in the room there's like circles where the light sort of hangs around. That was never the case before, I don't think. I got way too close to that enemy then. I regret my deeds. No! Dharmamic killed me, you bastard! I got killed by a Dharmamic, you fucker. Golden Bombs is nice. Uh, we get this, which seems like a very odd choice to be in the, um, in the thingy pool. 
the regular beggar pool, but there you go. Oh, I'm stupid. I've got chaos. <laughs> I was like, that's that. That's not in the right pool. But yeah, like, look at that spot of light there. What, 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 what's going on here? Like this little, this little particle here, this little kind of, kind of blue thing, has its own shadow and, and lighting, and that ain't right. I don't know what's causing that, but that ain't right. <laughs> I don't know whose mod is is uh, tweaking that, but I, I doubt it's really that negative of a thing. But it could potentially be causing some lag, so it might be worth looking into. I don't know. It might it might might not matter at all. Might be looking into things too much here. We got a reflected death card here. I'm liking the fact that we have this um pumpkin bomb now. Oh my god, the amount of flies and spiders we're getting right now. It must be parasitoid tears or something. We are getting an absurd amount right now. And I think I like it. And now we got pop. Pop did get a change. Now T is only hanging in the air for a certain amount of time. Reflect, reflected pressure gauge. Okay, nice one you latched. And there you go. What a nice finish to that run. Absolutely awesome, a great run, and I'm loving this latest patch here. It's definitely very nice for modded runs. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.